to perform a cervical pavum into side bending, you can either move the patient's head into flexion or extension, as was discussed. However, the skeleton is not very mobile, so we'll perform it in neutral in this case. So what you do is you feel for the spinous process until you get to the spinous process of C3. You take your proximal phalanx and come off the spinous process until you get to the articular pillar. From there, you perform a, an accessory glide into the medial and inferior direction towards the opposite hip. And then you move down to the next spinous process, coming off onto the articular pillar again and performing the same direction of glide, repeating all the way down until C7. You repeat on the opposite side and compare. Hi, Rachel. Um, today we're going to perform an assessment to check for where exactly in your neck you're having pain and then also the mobility of your spine in your neck. So for this, all you need to do is lay down and relax. Um, I'll be moving your head into a couple different directions and then applying a little bit of force. You might feel a little bit of pain once I get to the joint that's bothering you. Um, so I need you to let me know when you have any sort of pain, but that should be the only thing that you feel, okay? So you just lie down for me. Perfect, okay. You just relax, I'm just gonna feel for some structures. I'll be applying a little bit of force. So that was any pain? Pretty good on that side. I don't notice any mobility restrictions, but I'm going to compare and do the same thing on the other side. Just relax for me. There you go. Any pain? No. Okay, I'm going to call that a negative test because I didn't notice any mobility restrictions and then you had no pain. So we're going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to do a different motion. So I need you to scoot back so your head is off the edge. I'll support it. Now we're going to do the same thing, kind of going the other way. And just keep letting me know if you have any sort of pain. Do it one more time going the opposite direction. How was that? Good. Good. Okay, so I'm going to call that a negative exam across the board because there's no pain and no mobility restrictions.